Hi, it's Pete Rolls. It's Joe Fury in the Storm Team 8 Weather Center. The last full day of the summer of 2022. Well, pretty much what the entire summer was all about. Sunshine. Yes, at times during this past summer, it was very hot and humid. Matter of fact, third hottest summer on record. Uh, but the number of sunny days, yeah, record setting. Of course, a little too dry at times. And now we're going to move into the autumn season with some big changes as a big cold front rolls through here tomorrow. And you can thank that cold front for keeping Fiona out to the east. Otherwise, we'd have a repeat performance of what happened here 84, 84 years ago today. The Cat 3 hurricane of 1938 causing catastrophic damage and flooding in Connecticut. Uh, so we keep saying someday that's going to happen again. We're very lucky it's not this time because of the Northern Branch jet that's going to keep this Category 4 storm out to the east. We're hoping that Bermuda is uh, not going to get the brunt of this, but Bermuda is going to be on the eastern quadrant, and uh, that means, uh, well, possible catastrophic damage from this. Keep in mind, this is a much stronger storm now than it was in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico got catastrophic flooding, 30 plus inches of rain, but they didn't have the kind of winds with Maria five years ago. Yes, if this gets too close to Bermuda, Bermuda is going to get devastated uh, with, um, well, winds that are gusting right now to 160 miles per hour. Uh, so it is forecast to stay just west of Bermuda. That means it's not far off the east coast and look where it goes. Look how close Connecticut is. Nova Scotia getting what is the caliber of a Cat 4 storm rolling in Friday night into Saturday. Huge ocean swells. Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, Block Island, Rhode Island beaches. So surfers probably real happy, but don't ever think about going into the water, boating or swimming. And you won't want to because it's going to be too cold this weekend. Last weekend was very much a summer weekend. Autumn officially arrives at 904 tomorrow evening. The cold front's arriving as we go into tomorrow early afternoon. Two rounds of showers and thunderstorms. There's actually two fronts coming in. First one between about 6 and 9 a.m. with some heavy rain, lightning, thunder. And then the second line coming through between about 10 and 1 p.m. Again, heavy rain, could be some localized strong winds, hail, dangerous cloud to ground lightning, localized flooding. Got to tune into Gill first thing in the morning to find out what's happening where you are. And that'll be the case. Sam Cantrell will be on at 10 a.m. and noon tomorrow. And, well, as far as uh, later in the afternoon into the evening, sun will come back out late Thursday afternoon. Windy. Cooler, you'll be reaching for the light jacket or sweatshirt into tomorrow evening with a nice sunset around 645. Friday could start out with some clouds. Temperature's not all that chilly on the thermometer, but there's a notable wind. And many towns stay in the 50s for highs, low 60s at the shoreline. Sunny, windy, gusts up and over 30 on Friday. That's why you're going to dress for late October, early November on Friday, despite the fact the sun will be out. And then we start in the 30s and 40s on Saturday again. There's a wind. And then awesome autumn weather on Saturday. We've got the Durham Fair, Big E going on. So many other big events happening as uh, we head on through into this weekend. And we're talking about uh, Sunday and the eight day forecast. Uh, that's going to be fantastic for any outdoor events like at the North Haven Middle, Middle School, uh, Ben Haven Autism Walk. I'll be out there with Sarah Cody early on Sunday morning. Should be great. And, well, yeah, temperature gets back where it should be. By the way, start of autumn, the average high is in the low 70s. Uh, that's why we're talking about Saturday, uh, Friday rather, being a day more in line with late October, early November. So, yes, Fiona, as long as it stays out to the east, we'll deal with the showers and thunderstorms tomorrow morning into early afternoon. That's the very latest update. Need to tune in to Gill first thing on Thursday morning to find out where those storms are. Hope you're feeling well. Bye.